Watch, watch, my friends. <coughs> Today we'll be building something like this. Okay, to begin, you always need a base prop. I'll be using this one. Place it like this. The front will always be facing north, so just spray down, then the top of the spray will be north. Now, we need some wheels. I'll be using these two. 20 and 25. Now I'll line it like this. And now take your precision tool. Move. And we will move it on the base pump. These smaller wheels go up front. And pull this thing by 10 units. And place it in the middle. Now we will need more of those. So just take two of them. I think one will be enough. Move it on the prop. Somewhere around here. Now what you'll need is to mirror it. You can do it manual with precision normally but it will take a long time. So take plane, hit pass plus hit normal, place it on the middle of the prop, plane, hit normal and click somewhere on the flat Flat surface, pro uh, best one is the skybox. Now, right click the prop you want to ro uh, mirror. R, rotation functions, mirror across plane, plane 1. <coughs> Hold shift and left click rotate entity to copy it there. If you just click it, it will move it. Now just hold shift, right click and it, and it will repeat the last function you did. Now, again, plane hit normal but on the side. So this box will mirror on this side. Hold R, shift, left click, rotate entity, hold shift and right click all of your props. Now, take precision, pull it back up by 10 units, and now we will need a CVT. It's on our gear it's under mobility gearboxes CVT and CVT transactional medium just keep in mind that if you're using a stronger engine you will need a bigger CVT now the second one we'll need is a engine I'll be using 6.2 liters V6 petrol engine Just a quick thing you need to do before doing anything is setting the power brand that is here to here. So it's 2200 and 2600. There we go. You don't need to change this one, it's negative 0.1, but I put it 0.5. Now, we will move it on the prop. Take precision, move, <coughs> and it's preferably just put it on the middle and move the engine somewhere in the back. Not too much. Now, weld those things to the prop. After that, take your ACF menu. Link the engine to the gearbox and gearbox to the wheels. These two, only these two. Now, we will need a seat. Spam yourself a seat. No it. place it somewhere on the prop, like here. And take your pod controller. And of course, link it to the seat. Now it's starting to look something like this. Now what we need is an E2. Get yourself a easy tank movement. The link will be in, in the description for this one. See this arrow? It must be facing north. So just move it. You can use precision. I'll be using precision alignment. Considering it's a little bit easier to me. Set two points. 
select point one and point two and move entity. There we go. And weld it to your base prop. Okay, there is a quick change in the video. When you're doing uh, the, the tank movement, rotate it so it faces opposite of north south, I think, and just change this to D to be A and A to be D, and the CVT, the final drive must be negative, and that's all. We will need some tracks. There we go. And you will do the same thing for that. This arrow must be facing north. Just I'll do it a little bit differently. Click here, select it, and here. Move point one to point two and weld it. Now we'll need a advanced entity marker. You'll need two of those. So one here, one here. Right click it. And always go from the front to the back, but hold shift and right click all of them. Like this. And do the same thing for the other side. There we go. Now we will need to access those wheels. But before we do that, we will use make spherosol. So just sphere them all. Like this. And now we will get axis center. Enable only this function. And axis it all to your base prop. Like this. And do the same thing for the other side. Now that we're done, we will use Pulse Socket Advanced. We will use these settings, including this one. The minimum must always be negative and the maximum will always be positive. So just type these things. After that, just you need to Pulse Socket them all. So first click on this one, click two times on this one, two times on this one, two, time on, two times on this one, and one and once on this one so it doesn't transport to this to this lane do the same for this lane like this after that you will need to knock light everything just don't use knock light all because if you do that that will take a long time to paste it with invented duplicator just right click with knock light tool everything except those little chips that's always automatically set to no collide. You can hold C and right click to see if it's not non collided or you can just walk through it. After that, like I said, we will need to wire everything. Now let's start with the tracks. As we can see we just link them all. Go left, left LA to the left uh, entity marker and right to the right. Now you see they're not appearing, right? Just take your ET, E2 tool and refresh the code. And there we go. The next thing we'll be wiring is the movement chip. To take pod controller CVT, gun ready, we don't have a gun, active to the pod controller active and throttle to the E2. After that, that should be it, but always wait your things, otherwise there will be problems. I put 70 on reels and 2k, 2 tons on my base prop. So just shift right click, area copy, place it and let's see what did we do. We forgot to weld the chair, of course. Okay, let's see. 
the problem the the controls will probably be in worst so you'll need to change that I'll show you how if you get in W goes forward you see D is A and A is D so you don't want that right and there is another problem if if you have it I'm going to show you how to fix it you see this thing won't turn when I hold D it will turn when I have a little bit a little more speed take physical properties and set the material to paper I don't know why but that works now let's change the inverse controls click here you see how I already inversed it so that S is W and W is S just change this to D and this to A BAM that should fix the problem let's see place it and there we go the problem is fixed you see the tank turns more now when we stop holding A we'll rotate it whoa it has a little bit too much power for this light plate but there we go it works see And that should be it for this tutorial. Leave a like if it helped. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.